Welcome back, I'm Ultra Meteor, and this is Modern for Greatness, and we are playing one of um, Harbinger's decks, uh, a new one that he made called Taxation Vexation, and uh, I felt it was kind of interesting because it is Orshav uh, themed, and uh, I don't know, I just wanted to check, uh, check what it was about, so uh, let's dive into it. Oh, don't have the white source. Um, Kingpin's pet. All right, better do this a little slower so you guys can follow along. Soul Warden, we all know that creature. We have a Kingpin's pet, Flying Extort, Blood Gift Demon. Yep. And Sepulchral Primordial. Wow, that must be from Gate Crash? Maybe, yeah. I think it is. 7 cost 5 for Intimidate when Sepulchral Primordial enters the battlefield for each opponent. You may put up to one target creature card from that player's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. For those of you who don't know what Sepulchral means, um, it, me it means, I think, things pertaining to the graveyard <laughs> or to a funeral service or something like that. Um, yeah. Draw a new hand. Okay. All right. That's a little bit better consuming vapors nice so it's all about life gain i think and forcing your opponent to sack stuff or lose stuff i don't know let's uh let's give it a, a spin here um like always uh i'm running all the cards because i haven't i haven't uh went to the de gone to the deck manager so i'm going in blind here and i'm playing against uh, collective might oh very opportune very opportune upper opportune um so yeah so dun, 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 dun. i'm trying to record a lot of videos here these days because i will be going to um, i'm going to japan in a couple of weeks less than two weeks um so if i want basically if i want to have um uh, videos enough for you guys uh, I need to record a little bit because I'll be away for two weeks so uh, during those two weeks um, from the 5th of 5th of June to, uh, to the 20th of June I uh, you might get a hold of me but it will be it will not be uh, very consistent that I'll, I'll be on and uh, I'll I'll probably not be all that interested in, in in keeping contact with you guys. Sorry to say, I'm. I'll be way more interested in in just relaxing and uh, um, enjoying good food and so on and so forth. Wow. I've never seen that before. Gerard's verdict: two cost target player discards two cards. You gain three life for each uh, land card discarded this way. Oh, each land card. All right, all right. And I can extort it. Could also force him to sack a creature. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Keep him down. And during my next turn, I get to... Actually, I think I might even get to extort it. That's pretty awesome. So I get to extort it. And I get to play this and extort that, so... That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a good feeling about this deck. I like Orshav a lot. Especially I like the, the extort uh, mechanic. That is so powerful. Okay. Does he? He probably sacks it. Uh, Nope, he can't. Oh, that's good. That means, well, it's... No, it doesn't mean anything right now. Uh, cast Exile Spell. And I'm thinking him. Can I? Yes, I can. Yeah. Awesome. That is just way too good. That is way too good. Whenever you gain life... Okay, 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 hold the phone. I have to do this instead. Unfortunately, uh, it didn't come into play before I gained life, but still, that's too good. That's just too good. The pride made in an extort deck, that's pure genius. Well done. Well done, Harbinger. You've done well. Mm-hmm. 
might want to start putting some tokens into play. Nope, I really do not want to block there. Um, each other player. Each other player. So that's not me. Huh. Pontiff of Blight. Extort. All the creatures you control have extort. Each trigger separately. Interesting. Interesting is just all I'm saying. Um, you. Yes. Nice. Look who's getting a big cat. Oh, that's a shame. No life for me, but uh, I'm really not too sad about that. That's two less creatures. Wow, this this deck is very controly. Roly poly controly. Of course he makes a, a token. Bastard. Fucking bastard. Yeah, yeah, you swing in. You bastard. And I have to be careful because he can create another token if I swing in. He does have the mana for... Whoa! That's no good. He can do that next turn if he wants to. And I'll lose my extort capabilities. Hmm, that's no good. Obviously he'll take advantage. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm not gonna swing in. I'm not gonna swing in. I'll swing in with this. Because it will get get killed anyway. He will kill it next turn, I think. And when I draw one mana, I guess I can play Siphon Flesh. It's actually not the best. It's pretty good in uh, in uh, multiplayer. Oh really? That's what you want to do. Well, let's. Ah oh, man, I should have killed that thing instead. That's a lot of damage for me. Oh, ooh. Ooh, that's no good. That's no good. How much damage is that? That is. Oh, son of a. Well, well, well. He almost dies anyway. He has to sack his token. I still have a cat folk back. Five. Yeah. He has to uh, to to uh, not sack it. Uh, he has to chump block and uh, yeah. It's actually not bad. I've done well. So he might want to kill that. All right. Let's. Uh Yes. Yes. All right. I think I'm going to swing in with everything, but uh, I I know what he's... Biorhythm. Each player's life total becomes the number of creatures he or she controls. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So this is what I'm going to do, and this is what he's going to do. He's going to he's gonna chomp block these two, and he's going to sack this, kill this, uh, which uh, gives him an extra turn. Obviously. So he doesn't take any damage. I can't extort him. But I keep three of my creatures and he has zero. He does have a card in hand. Which he can't use so he is pretty much dead. What is this? Um, yeah, alright. Um... So I could siphon flesh. Really no reason to. I'll just kill him. Uh, and that'll be that. Nice. So, well done. Wonder how long that took. Think maybe I'll play one more game just to see if it... Uh, see how good it is. Alright. So kind of a mirror match. We'll be playing against Dark Heavens from um, 2012. I guess these decks are a little bit modified though. But um, 
Kingpin's Pit, Exanguine Age, Mortify, Blood Gift Demon. Let's keep it. Let's keep, 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 keep it. Alright. Good enough. Exanguinate is just fucking strong. What is this? Unburial Rites. Nice. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. And it has flashback. How can you go wrong with that? All crave the blessed sleep. Few receive it. Uh-huh. Anything else? Nope. Alright, let me get something. Let me get a place. And um, just to get it out of the way, I don't think I have anything else to play. No. So next turn I can play a Kingpin's Pet. What do I need to... I need two black mana for this and two black mana for that. Hello! Doom Traveler, you son of a bitch. And Basilisk Color. Nice! That's fucking annoying. Which uh, I guess I could... No, that's not... Hmm. Blood Baron of Viscopa. A uh, low res scan. Still, great card. 5 cost, 4-4, four, four, lifelink protection from white and black. <laughs> as long as you have 30 or more life, and Baron... Uh, uh, or And an opponent has 10 or less life, Blood Baron of Viscopa gets 6-6 uh, six, six and has flying. Yeah. That is good. That is good enough. I guess I want this guy down. And I hope I start drawing some lands. Please. Yes, please. Mm. No, he doesn't want to swing in. Huh. Bargain. What a boring card. What a boring ass card. Um, let's start out by swinging in. How much does it, it cost to equip two? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. There's no problem. That is great. Yes, you do that. You do that. So he doesn't want to swing in with that. All right, let's kill this. So he can't block with it. There we go. Give myself a life. You lose a life. I lose one more. That's perfectly fine. That Doom Traveler, though, is a bit of a cock blocker. Whenever you're dealt damage, put... The yeah, I like it. A ragged a rot. Sure, why not? Deal some more damage to him. And um, he's more than welcome to swing in, so I can uh, man if I had a couple of sun droplets, that would be that would be sweet. Alright, if you guys don't know it, whenever you're dealt damage, put that many charge counter, uh, counters on Sun Droplet. At the beginning of uh, each upkeep, you may remove a charge counter from Sun Droplet. If you do, you gain one life. So you have a couple of these down. You actually gain a lot of life from them doing damage to you. Albeit in increments, but still. Uh, now he wants to, to gain a little bit of life. That's annoying. I would like to draw a fucking land, please. Thank you. Just what I needed. Just what I wanted and just what I needed. Actually, man, I could... Whoa, both are good, though. I want this down. I want this bad boy down. He's going to gain me a lot of life. Also, he has protection from that bullshit, so... Yeah, that's a good boy. You're a good boy. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Yes. Blood Baron of Viscopa, you're a good boy. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. It's during each upkeep. Wow. Okay, you obviously don't read your cards, motherfucker. Okay. 
Or he wanted that. Alright, yeah. Whatever. Um. Um. Let's swing in to begin with. Gain myself a lot of life. A lot of life. There we go. He's not drawing Lance at all. That must suck for him. Yeah. That's exactly right. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. So close. So. So close. To having a 10-10. <laughs> oh, come on. Well... It doesn't hinder me. Hinder me. Uh, no, that's fine. Let's start out by swinging in so I can get my ten ten. My ten ten bullshit card. Yeah, buddy. Let's get this bad boy down. Look at it. A ten ten. <laughs> that is so wild. And this, this thing, with this thing, <laughs> it's for free. You get, you get more cards for free. It's too good. It's too good. And flying as well. Oh, come on. Way to ruin my fun. Uh, damn it. So my guy loses his... Plus six, plus six now. <laughs> Fuck it. I really want this. Actually, I could exsanguinate. Yeah. Could exsanguinate. And that's what I'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Take them to one. <laughs> Here comes the 10-10. Here comes the ten ten all dressed and fuck you. Oh, that's a shame, huh? That sunblast angel could have saved your ass if you had the mana for it. Anyways, uh let's just take a look at the deck manager here. Wobbity wobbity wop. <clears throat> Wonky curve, it's a little expensive, but it's you know, that's what Orzhov is like. Anyways, a uh, lot of black mana in it, and uh, not so much white, and that's probably why you have the marshlands, which will go get you those lands right away, and you don't get them tapped. 75 cards, so I recommend that you trim it one, uh, before you start playing. Blood Chief Ascension, so good. So good. If you don't know what it is, look it up, or look in your Grinning Malice deck, or pause the video. Two Soul Wardens, two Ajani's Pride Maid, an Exanquinate, three Gerard's Verdict, so good, it's just so good. Two Sun Droplets, very good. Tithe Drinker, you have a couple of these, very good. An Almost Bear with Lifelink and Extort for two, <laughs> just so good. Viscopa Guild Mage, target creature gains Lifelink until end of turn for, tr uh, for three, and uh, for three, Whenever you gain life this turn, each opponent loses that much life. What the fuck? That is insane. So that's a great combo card. Um, two, yeah, like the other guild mages, two cost two, two. You have two of those. You have three Kingpin's Pet, which is such a good card. A two, two, three cost flyer with extort. You have two Liliana Spectre for control. Very, very nice. Um, three Mortify. No, two Mortify. And a Vindicate. 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 Congregate. Target player gains two life for each creature on the battlefield. Obviously, that's just a currency for the Orshav to, to trade in uh, or to trade for. Put uh, people in depth for. Consuming Vapors. Very nice. Great removal card. And this is kind of like the theme of the deck, I guess. It's from Dragon's Maze. Depth to the Deathless. It's kind of like Sanguinate, uh, except that it depending on how much la how many lands you have it is either a little bit more expensive or a little bit um um a little bit more expensive or a little uh a little bit more profitable 
um, you definitely need, like if you play this for five, then you gain two life, your opponent loses two life, and with Exsanguinate, uh, you would gain three life and your opponent would lose uh, three life. If you played for six, he loses four life, you gain four life, Exsanguinate, it would be the same. For se uh, seven mana, you gain six, he loses six, Exsanguinate, only five, and so on and so forth. Um, well, let's take another example. If you play for eight, then you gain uh, eight life, he loses eight life. With Exsanguinate, it's only six. For ten mana, if you make it to that uh, amount of lands, then you get to gain ten life, your opponent loses ten life. With Exsanguinate, it would only be six. No, oh, sorry, it would be eight. Eight? Really? No, wait, wait a, wait a damn second. No, that's 12 for 10, for 10 mana. You gain tw 12, he loses 12. With Exsanguinate, it's only eight. All right. So it's kind of the same, but it's not something you want to play early. Same goes for Exsanguinate. So this pays off during the end game. Siphon Mind, great card. It was in the... Um, it's it's a great card for multiplayer. Uh, four cost. Oh, sorry. Uh, each other player discards a card. You draw a card for each card discarded. Uh, discarded this way. It's it's still good, uh, but it's definitely better in multiplayer. It was in the um, in the discard pile in two thousand and twelve. Well of Lost Dreams is obviously from uh, Celestial Light. Two Blood Gift Demon. Great great card. Blood Baron of Viscopa, you just saw how beastly he gets. Opsidat Ghost Council is uh, not the Ghost Council of Orjava, it is the the evo uh, evolution of um, Ghost Council of Orjava. It's difficult to deal with. 5 cost 5-5, five, five. and when Opsidat Ghost Council enters the battlefield, target opponent loses 2 life, you gain 2 life, rather than 1, gaining 1. At the beginning of your end step, you may exile Opsidat. If you do, return it to the battlefield under your owner's control. At the beginning of your up, uh, next up, upkeep, it gains haste. So what you don't get to do is use this as a blocker if you uh, activate a second, a second ability. But what you don't have to do is sacrifice another creature. So I think it's less flavorful, but it's more powerful in that sense. And it's a 5-5 five five rather than a 4-4. Four four. Two Siphon Flesh. Two on burial rites. Two, one pontiff of blight. I'm not showing everything here because I showed you some of it during the game. Treasury thrall is from Gate Crash and it's a six cost four four with extort and whenever it attacks, you may return target artifact cre creature or enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. Pretty nutty. That is fucking aw awesome. Really, really good card. Uh, Chancellor of Dross, of the Dross, 7 cost 6-6. Six, six. You may reveal this card from your opening hand. If you do, at the beginning of your first upkeep, each opponent loses 3 life. Then you gain life equal to the life lost this way. Really, really nasty in mul multiplayer if uh, you, you sit with this in your open hand, opening hand. Just really good, or just good enough in, um, in your opening hand if, um, uh, if you're playing one-on-one. -on -one. It has flying and lifelink. Uh, what I don't like about it in your opening hand is that it's a seven cost that takes up a lot of space. Of even one place in your opening hand is significant. Um, so I, I might consider taking this out if I'm playing this uh, this deck against other players. Depthor Snell, we all know this card. Good card, a little expensive. Sepulchral Primordial is a little expensive as well. Otherwise, a decent card. Tesa, Envoy of Ghosts, 7 cost 4-4, four, four, is insane! It is, um, what is it called? No Mercy on a Stick, basically. It's a Vigilance, Protection from Creatures, Protection from Creatures. Whenever you, uh, whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, pr destroy that creature, put a 1-1 one, one white, white and black spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Nice! That's a nice little gesture. She gives you a spirit. She... She kills creatures from afar, and she t converts them into uh, resources for your behalf. So that's that's really good. Eight cost, Decree of Pain. Destroy all creatures. They can't be regenerated. Draw a card for each creature destroyed this way. It has cycling for five. 
um, basically you discard this card uh, after paying five and you draw a card when you cycle decree of pain all creatures get minus two minus two until end of turn so if you have big creatures your opponent have, has small creatures and a lot of them you just cycle it you don't lose any creatures but you get to draw a card and your opponent loses all his creatures so that's nice a little expensive but um i think all in all a very very good deck um absolutely awesome deck so well done harbinger um i hope you guys liked it i certainly did and um yeah later